published 1642 esp the 3rd of January the 2018 updated 1806 esp the 3rd of January 2018 it was one of those games Mark Alonso looked to have won it for Chelsea, then made the mistake that gave Arsenal their injury time equaliser. Hector Bellerin gave away the penalty that brought Chelsea back into the game, then earned Arsenal a point with almost his last kick. And Jack Wilshere scored his first Premier League goal since May 24, 2015, a momentous occasion Arsenal all celebrated by holding that lead for all of four minutes. In other words, a mess. An exhilarating, entertaining, lovely mess, but a mess nonetheless for two teams angling to secure places in next season's Champions League. The result probably suited Chelsea more as they are higher up the table, and were away from home, but there were still grounds for concern, when a striker has three one-on-one -on -one chances and misses all of them, a manager should worry. Alvaro Morata was supposed to replace the intimidating presence of Diego Costa on Wednesday night he appeared to be channeling the spirit of Fernando Torres at Stamford Bridge. And not in a good way. Hector Bellerin netted an injury time equaliser for Arsenal as they rescued a 22 draw at the death against Chelsea the Spain international fired home after 90 minutes had elapsed at the Emirates to secure a share of the spoils for Arsenal Marcos Alonso scored a late second for Chelsea as they came from behind to lead 21 heading into the dying minutes the wing back turned home across from substitute David Zapacosta six minutes from time for Chelsea at the Emirates Danny Drinkwater and co celebrate Alonso's goal which completed their turnaround and looked to have earned them victory just Jack Wilshere gave the home side the lead with an unstoppable left-footed effort just after the hour mark on Wednesday night after finding himself in space in the box, the England midfielder fired past Thibaut Courtois at his near post and into the net but Chelsea were level four minutes later at the Emirates as Eden Hazard sent Petr Cech the wrong way from the penalty spot. The Belgian playmaker won the penalty after he was caught in the area by Arsenal right-back Bellerin on Wednesday we have come to expect games like this against the elite at the Emirates Stadium this season. Losing to Manchester United, drawing with Liverpool, it was very much the same. Knock about no structure, Manchester City can concede goals, we know that, but they have a clearly defined game plan. Arsenal have a go, then the other lot have a go. It finished 22, it could have been 55. Thibaut Courtois and Petr Cech made excellent saves. Murata and Alexandra Lacazette missed plenty. Even after Bellerin had made it level, David Zapacosta had time to hit the bar. It is thrilling, but will it get Arsenal back in the Champions League next season? Probably not via domestic qualification. If Tottenham beat West Ham on Thursday, Arsenal will be four points and at least ten goals adrift of them down in sixth place, and they are already five points off Liverpool in fourth. This was great fun for the neutrals, but it lacked the precision required to nail down Arsenal's future. They may have to take the Europa League route pioneered by Jose Mourinho at Manchester United last season. Watch UEFA get the Vapiers if England get five clubs into the Champions League, back-to-back. -back. That's for another day, though. For now, what a game. Four goals in the last 27 minutes and each one of them changed the balance of power. Arsenal led, Chelsea equalised. Chelsea led, Arsenal equalised. Both sides will feel as if they won, and lost. Alvaro Morata raced clear on goal in the opening stages but was unable to hit the target from inside the Arsenal penalty box the Spain and Chelsea forward cannot hide his frustration after sliding the ball past Czech's left hand post on Wednesday minutes later Alexis Sanchez poked a ball towards ball but was denied by a combination of the post and Thibaut Courtois after Courtois tipped the ball onto the, the post it rolled across the goal back off the other post and into the keeper's arms Gary Cahill shows his appreciation to the Chelsea goalkeeper after he kept his side on terms with a fine reaction Savek chronologically, the action begins with Jack Wilshere's first goal since the final game of the 201,415 season, a 41 home win over West Brom. This, most certainly, should have made a bigger splash. A significant intervention the opener against Chelsea as Arsenal scrapped to stay in contention for the Champions League places next season, Arsenal have conceded more penalties in the Premier League since the start of last season than any other team 14, Wilshere has been in lovely form since finally getting his chance again, but the goals do not come. Just one, in a 60 Europa League victory over Bate Borisov. Not what one might call crucial, this would have been different. A finish that belied close to a three-year goal-scoring drought. Meza Terzel cut the ball back, Rob holding vied with Murata on the edge of the area, the Chelsea man getting a fateful touch. 
Wilshire collected the scraps and, outstripping none other than Nagolo Kante, defeated Courtois with a superb, powerful, first-time shot, it would have capped an excellent spell in the first team for Arsenal's prodigal son. Instead, his team gave the lead away at the first opportunity, and nearly all three points. The moment Chelsea tried to force a way back, Arsenal blinked. Bellerin had no need to make the challenge on Eden Hazard, clipping the bottom of his foot as they jostled for the ball in the area. The home fans cried dive, but it was a foul. Hazard stepped up, waited for Petr Cech to commit and, cool as you like, brought Chelsea back into the game. Jack Wilshere, who is enjoying a welcome run in the first team, crashes into a tackle on Chelsea midfield and Agolo Kante Alexandra Lacazette fires a right-footed shot at goal after turning past Gary Cahill, but he, too, was denied by Courtois. The 25-year-old Chelsea goalkeeper threw himself down to his left and kept the ball out with a strong only handed save. Shkodran Mustafi beats Chelsea wing-back Alonso to a header as the two sides search for an opener at the Emirates. The Chelsea manager barks instructions at his players from the touchline during the first half at the Emirates on Wednesday, Cesc Fabregas cannot hide his annoyance after being shown a yellow card by Anthony Taylor for a tackle on Wilshire just three minutes later, Morata missed his second one on one of the match. In the first half, he had led them spectacularly off the hook, presented with a gift by Arsenal's naivety. A long ball hit in hope from the back was allowed to drop by Callum Chambers who cannot have appreciated the position occupied by teammate Shkodran Mustafi, either he didn't see him, and presumed Murata was offside, or he saw Mustafi and presumed he was already dealing with the loose ball. So Chambers stopped, and let it roll, and Murata ran on, somewhat surprised, and now with only check to beat. Instead he flopped, embarrassingly so, missing at the far post, just as he did when set clear by Cesc Fabregas in the 70th minute, Chambers in pursuit. It remained for a full-back, Alonso, to show Chelsea's striker how it should be done. The goal was simplicity itself. Zappa Costa brought on to test Ainsley Maitland-Niles with fresh legs, did exactly that, turning the young man inside out before crossing for Alonso, who got in front of Mustafi for his sixth goal of the season. He has 12 in the Premier League since the start of the last campaign, five more than any other defender. Wilshere would kill for such a return. Alonso meets a cross in the box and heads towards Czech's goal, but the chance was one of a number that went begging Mays at Erzul dribbles with the ball down the touchline as Chelsea midfielder Chiamwe Bakayoko gives chase for the visitors. The Arsenal right-back makes a sliding challenge to try and dispossess Murata during a goalless first half at the Emirates. Bakayoko stretches to reach a header as Cesar Aspili Quetta and Callum Chambers watch on during Wednesday's clash and it looked Arsenal done. But are they ever Leicester, Liverpool? How many times at the Emirates this season have they been written off, only to rally Alonso's poor headed clearance put Chelsea under pressure? Substitute Danny Welbeck got a touch, Bellerin met the loose ball just inside the area, rifling it past Courtois. What remained another Marata miss? One on one again, straight at Czech, Zappa Costa off the bar with the rebound. Earlier, Alexis Sanchez contrived to hit both posts with one free kick, Czech tipped it onto his right, it travelled across the goal line and hit the left, Morata missed his kick at the near post, and Lacazette let a couple of sitters go to waste. Chiamwe Bakayoko should have scored at least two, Maze Terzel came close, and Wilshere escaped a second yellow for diving having already been booked for a late tackle on Fabregas. Phew. And now breathe. The players, apparently, have been left absolutely exhausted by this holiday schedule. What this match would have looked like had they been properly at it, then, heaven knows, Wilshere cries out in pain after being on the receiving end of a sliding tackle by former Arsenal midfielder Fabregas. Fabregas embraces his former Barcelona teammate Sanchez after the pair came together inside the Chelsea penalty area. Mustafi flies into a tackle on Hazard, but no defender could do anything to prevent him bringing the visitors back on terms moments after Hazard equalised for Chelsea. Morata wasted another good chance to put them ahead, firing over the bar Andre. Andreas Christensen salutes the travelling supporters at the Emirates at the end of a pulsating encounter on Wednesday.